Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I have probably, most likely, my last haul for a while. If you watch my videos, you would know I am officially on a low buy, meaning I'm only purchasing products that I'm going to do individual reviews on for my channel. Other than that, I'm not going to buy makeup for my own fun. So I have items from my long-awaited Neiman Marcus pickups, and then I have a few bits and bobs from other places. So if you would like to see what I picked up, then just keep watching. <laughs> So I'm going to start off with my Neiman Marcus goodies. You guys know a few weeks ago, Neiman Marcus had a 25% off sale and it was just one of the most fun sales to shop because they have the best brands of the Lux Lux makeup. I did a bargain or bust where I went over what was on sale and what I wanted to pick up and what was just not worth it. And so I did pick up a few goodies. It took a while for the stuff to get here. I got one package really fast, which was kind of the bulk of what I purchased, but then there were bits and bobs that didn't come till a few weeks later all in all for the stuff I ordered it came in four different boxes I believe I, I don't know why if they were grabbing from different places or what but definitely horrible for the environment because I would get these big boxes filled with paper for a lipstick like a lipstick is not going to break this could be anyways <laughs> I digress so, so let's start off with the foundation I picked up I've been wanting to try this Guerlain L'Essential essential <laughs> natural glow foundation i just have heard a lot of good things about this foundation from michelle from alicia and also julia adams she loves this foundation as well so i finally decided to pick it up i got mine in the shade three end and i was researching everywhere what color to get i'm very happy i landed on three end this is like the perfect shade for me right now and it is a beautiful foundation it's not a watery consistency but it's not thick it's like the perfect right in between it applies very easily to the skin and the finish is very natural. I would say it has a medium coverage with a natural finish. It looks very healthy and very skin-like. So basically what I like in a foundation. So, so far I've only been wearing this for about an hour but I am very, very happy with it. I'm excited to see how this wears throughout the day. I always love a good luxe foundation purchase. Luxury foundations for me a lot of the times are worth it. I can really tell a difference. So, so far I really like this. It's very, very pretty. I also picked up two Shantikai blushes. I really like Shantikai now and that is a thing that I didn't want to ever say because but Shantikai, I have learned, is a beautiful brand with beautiful products. So I purchased two of the blushes because I so cute and beautiful looking so here are the boxes like I don't want to get rid of these boxes because they're so cute I wish they would have done something a little cuter with the packaging itself I got the bee and the butterfly and they are so cute I picked up bliss which is the butterfly now when you get these on the actual animal there is an overspray so I have a little bit of extra sheen to my face that I won't get when I actually wear it but see how beautiful this blush is and I love this color it's a very pale pink if you like those really pale pinks you will enjoy this it's so natural especially on light skin tones this is going to be my new favorite everyday kind of blush i think it's beautiful the formula is beautiful it's so tiny so overpriced but totally worth it for me especially because i got it for 25 percent off it was still 30 dollars which <laughs> look at this little thing but it's just so beautiful and luxe and it's about that experience that you pay for a lot of times with luxury makeup and for me I'm very very happy I picked this up and you guys seem to love it as well a lot of you recommended that I do pick these up and then the second one that I got is emotion which is the B one this one is a little bit more peachy coral that is on this cheek right here so this one's a lot more fun for the summer I would say it had a golden overspray on the B so I have some gold on this cheek that won't be there when I I actually apply it the next time because the overspray came right off and it did make the compact look more pretty but I'm against oversprays personally I mean I think it would have been nice if it was actually embedded into the blush so that you could always get that golden shift to it but also I prefer it without the golden shift anyways by the way 
I love these blushes. I love the formula. I'm so happy I picked these up. And now it's a problem because I want more colors. I also picked up a few lip shades. So I picked up one from Chantecai because like I said, all of a sudden I think I love Chantecai. I do have a lipstick that I really love from Chantecai. So I wanted to get another one and I had to get a nude because I love nudes. So it's a typical Chantecai, very simple packaging. And I got the shade Mirage. And this looks beautiful. This is made in Italy. Italy. and oh my gosh you guys this just looks like a beautiful nude the color that personally I would wear all the time a pinky nude really pretty a little bit of brown in there and I love the Chantecai lipstick formula from what I've experienced so I'm excited to see what this guy looks on me while they were 25% off because this is the best deal that you can get I refreshed on some of my Bobbi Brown art sticks I don't talk about these items a lot but they're staples in my collection I keep them in my purse I know they're always going to look good they wear really pretty and these are definitely an underrated product these have been my favorite for a long time and mine were just starting to get old they were starting to smell old so I refreshed on a few colors so the one that I'm wearing now is dusty pink this is a new color for me I didn't have it in my collection previously and I've been wanting to get into pinks I saw a photo of a beautiful model wearing this beautiful pink lip so now I'm on the hunt for the perfect pink lip especially for spring and summer so this is what dusty pink looks like and I don't necessarily love it with the makeup that I'm wearing but I think this with just a really plain eye is going to be really pretty for the spring so I do like this pink shade and I've stayed away from pinks for a long time I don't know why I just haven't been attracted to pink lipsticks but for whatever reason I'm trying to get into them so we're going to start right here and the formula for these are really beautiful they're not too drying on the lips but they are dry enough to where you know they're going to stay they're this giant pencil form so you don't need to wear a lip liner this is like a hybrid between a lip liner and a lipstick just that perfect in between because it's going to last but it's not super duper hydrating so definitely hydrate your lips beforehand but it is a lipstick lip liner duo and they're so easy to apply every single one comes with a sharpener I have like 10 of them at this point but I love these so much so here are the two colors that I restocked on I picked up brown berry which is kind of a classic brown nude for me I really love it so here's brown berry on top and then the other color that I picked up was rose brown and rose brown is my mauve nude shade that I wear all the time rose brown I'll be honest I think this is one of my most used lipsticks in my entire collection it's just so good the perfect purse lipstick so if you like mauve colors definitely go with rose brown and then brown berry is also a beautiful nude very happy that I got to restock on these because mine were getting so disgustingly old and the fact that I'm repurchasing these all of these years later should say a lot also kind of during this pandemic and while all these sales are happening I've been restocking here and there some items in my bridal makeup kit though it doesn't look like I'm going to be doing a bridal makeup anytime soon but I have been wanting to restock refresh make my kit just look a little bit cleaner nicer newer so I made an order off of ABH I believe it was buy one get one 50% off so I purchased a new fresh soft glam palette the one in my kit is looking beat up so I'm gonna retire that one and put it into my own personal collection and then I have a new fresh soft glam for my collection this is definitely a staple in my bridal kit mine doesn't look bad in my makeup kit but I just kind of wanted to recycle through just keep everything as fresh as possible so this is my new one for my own personal <laughs> self and these are just perfect bridal colors most of the time when a bride requests a look I can pretty much fulfill it with this palette so really good great staple item in my kit also I've just been itching to pick this up because it's been old in my collection and for the longest time in college I was in love with the Nicole Guerrero glow kit like this is almost sentimental to me because girl I <laughs> went so overboard with the highlight in college because that is when it was really really trending to just the shinier and more obnoxious your highlight was the better your makeup was so I wanted to pick up a fresh one and also kind of see if the formula was different so I don't know yet if I'm going to put this in my kit or not I am actually strongly thinking about putting this in my kit because for my clients that do want a really glowing complexion this one's really really good I like the colors in here a lot so I do need to disinfect it because I wanted to see today if the these were the same formula as the old one and from what I can tell I kind of need to do side-by-side -side comparisons but just 
from what I can tell, they took the glitter completely out of this one. It's virtually almost not there, which is a good thing, but personally, I don't mind a little bit of glitter in my highlight. That's fine. I just loved the old one two years ago so much. I had to get a fresh one regardless. And I'm happy that this is out so I can start using my older one in the videos. I did use Forever Young today as my highlight. And oh my gosh, you guys, I forgot how glowing and shiny this highlight was. I It's too much for me at this point. The older I've gotten as years have gone on, the softer the highlight, the better. And then I also got a little sample of the eye primer just as a gift with purchase, which is really good because you use so little of this primer. Honestly, this is like probably the size I needed to begin with. <laughs> not a full size. So I did kind of break my low buy a little bit. I went to Target the other day and I, that's the first time besides the grocery store that I've left my house to go to another store. It was my dad's birthday and I had to just pick up some essentials of course and I need to get something for my dad's birthday. And I've been wanting to buy more of these little elf bite size eyeshadows to see myself using these in future videos. So these are $3 each. I did break my low buy for them, but these have been on my list to actually purchase for a while. And while I was in store, I picked them up. They're three dollars each So I don't really feel guilty about this because I said when I actually go out and see these I was going to purchase them. So the thought of buying these was pretty low buy. I'm not buying anymore I swear, but I picked up three shades cream and sugar Which looks like a really great everyday shadow palette and for these by the way I'm thinking of doing like drugstore videos best makeup under five dollars Even like duping some bigger shadows with these is what I had in mind and then I have very bad and I feel like these shadows might be a little bit inconsistent because I have one called Truffles in my collection. The mattes were very, very pigmented in that one. For this one, it wasn't. Like, they worked fine. They blended fine. I didn't have any issues, but this did not show up as dark on my lid as the other shadows would have in my Truffles. So I'm seeing that these do have inconsistencies, which is fine. That's why I wanted to purchase these to really dive in. And then this one I've just been wanting for a long time, Rose Water. I think Jessica Braun has been wearing this like crazy and talking about it. So I had to pick this one up and see what all the hype's about. But I need to play with these. From what I can tell, it does seem that there's some inconsistencies, but I will keep you updated because how can, $3? Like, how can you not? The last item that I have for this haul, I purchased it before the low buy, like right before I thought of doing it. And it's from Nomad Cosmetics. You guys know I've been wanting to experiment some more with indie brands. Obviously that's to a halt now. I'm gonna use what I have. But this was kind of my last hurrah of trying a new indie brand. I really wanted the Tokyo palette from Nomad Cosmetics. Unfortunately, it was sold out. I got this from their Studio 54 collection. It also came with two duochrome highlighters. I passed on those and just picked up the eye quad. Some percentage of the proceeds when I bought this went to some type of COVID thing. I don't know, but <laughs> I really wanted it. And so basically it's just four lid toppers and I was a little bit worried when I swatched these because they did seem a bit sheer but definitely on the lid is when it really is its moment to shine. I think these may benefit from a glitter glue. I need to try it out but I have I'm coming out which is right here all over my lid. It is such a really pretty pink blue duochrome kind of topper. It looks like I have glitter on my eyelid but I don't. I just have this lip topper. I also have Le Freak on my inner corner which is a very strong yellow pink duochrome shift and these are really beautiful they definitely require a little bit more work to apply like I had to dig in with my finger a lot to build this up on my lid but once it's on there really really pretty this is going to be fun if you like go out or if you go out in the day when the sun can really hit it really nice I need to continue playing with this but it is really gorgeous but it does require a little bit of work that is all I have for today's haul and that is all I will have probably for a haul for a while unless I am bad and break my low buy but I don't see myself doing that anytime soon. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I hope you take the time to do so. Thank you for watching. I hope you all are continuing to stay safe and healthy, your family and friends as well. So far, we're doing pretty good here. Fingers crossed. Anyways, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Have a good one.